This is going to be a nursery tour for my daughter's nursery. It's been highly requested and I'm really excited to finally get it up. So I'm not going to talk too much here in the intro because it's kind of self-explanatory. It's going to be a nursery tour. So I was going to wait for my husband, but we never got around to it. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this up. Um, this is her door. Um, these were some of the ribbons that I wore for our baby shower. Uh, my mother-in-law got me the mom to be one. And then my sister actually made, handmade these two, one for me and one for David to wear. And then this was just part of her, uh, part of the baby shower decor that I thought was cute that I added on her door. So walking into her nursery, you can tell, I don't think I've announced it yet, but this is going to be her name. Her name is going to be Kinley Rose and I absolutely love it. So that's her name, finally above the crib. Um, when you walk in right here on the left, we have this little chalkboard with her name on it. It's a little elephant chalkboard and I've already wrote her a few little notes. I'm just going to go ahead and start over here in this corner. Um, as you can see, this is going to be mainly my nursing station, I guess you could call it. Um, this is where I'm going to be sitting with her majority of the time. This chair is from Bye Bye Baby. It is so incredibly comfy. It glides, it rocks, it reclines, it does everything, which is why I love it. Um, and then we just have a lamp back here in case I just want like some mild lighting, if, you know, to see what I'm doing up here. We just have some plaques. It says, you have my whole heart for my whole life. And then it has a little K from a um, baby shower cake that my best friend made. Um, we just have a white mirror that we had laying around. And we have this beautiful little plaque up here that says, now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. My angels watch me through the night and wake me with the morning light. Um, this is her little changing table area and her little dresser. Um, don't mind the clutter right here. I'm in the middle of uh, sanitizing my breast pump so I can get it packed with the hospital bag. But um, this is like my little nursing station. I have my breast pump um, thing here. Some nursing pads. And then I have like some boogie wipes. Some more nursing pads. I have a lot of burp cloths. And I also have some coconut oil because, you know, breastfeeding is really hard on your boobs. So I heard coconut oil is like one of the best things to put on them. And then up here, um, these are just some new things that we've recently got that I haven't had a chance to put up yet. David has to hang up this clock. One of my really, really good friends sent me this in the mail and she handmade it. It's a little baby hat and this is like a little baby sleep sack and oh my god, I freaking love it. It is so freaking cute. So thank you so much, Elisa. And then we recently picked up a belly casting kit because I do plan on doing this. Um, I'll be 36 weeks tomorrow, so I plan on trying to do it around 38 weeks because I want to try to be as big as possible without actually going into labor, so I'm really excited for this. And then in here is just like a little diaper caddy. I got some diapers and wipes. This is like a nightlight, so I can just tilt it down to see what I'm doing if I change her like at night in here or whatever, and I don't want to put the bright light in her face. Um, and some baby lotion, baby powder, and stuff like that. In here I just have some little toys and teething rings and um, like a little elephant pacifier thing. Just some little stuff for her. Um, she's going to be a little too small for toys right away obviously so I'm not going to put, I don't have much, very much toys put out in her room yet. I'm going to kind of wait until she gets a little bit older but these are just small enough to where she could hold in her hand if she wants. And then here I just have a little candy dish jar full of her pacifiers. I have a very wide variety of pacifiers because I'm not sure which one she's going to take to the best. And this was one of her very first profile ultrasounds that I got done and you can see her little tiny face. It's so cute. So I have this out right here also because I love looking at it. I'll kind of just give you guys a little run through of her drawer. Um, I have some butt paste, some extra lotion, diaper rash cream, q-tips, all her little socks and mittens and stuff like that. Um, the second drawer is, they are all of her pants and stuff like that that goes with all her outfits. And then the bottom is just like bibs and little hats and stuff like that. And then these are all like extra diapers. Moving on, her curtains are from Target.com. 
Um, they did not have these pink and white striped ones in the store. They were only available online, so I purchased them there. Um, here is her little four mom swing. I love it. The only thing is that I wish, this is like the cheaper one, so it's not as tall as like the ones that's like $300. Um, I believe this one was only like 130 And it's really cool because down here on the bottom, you could plug your phone up to it and play music through the speakers down here also. So, I mean, like she'll have some music to listen to while she bounces around. This is her little laundry basket. It is elephants. And the inside is um, also elephants. As you can see, it's really, really cute. So we have that. That's going to be her little dirty clothes hamper. <laughs> And here we have her crib. This crib is also from Bye Bye Baby. It's a convertible one, so it transforms into a toddler bed, and then it goes into like a full-size bed for when she gets a little bit older, and it also has a storage drawer on the bottom, which I loved. And then above, obviously, is her beautiful name. Um, inside her crib, I just have, just have a little baby elephant and a little baby giraffe that I got at Target. Um, then I have like this little elephant mat for her to lay on. Obviously, she's not going to lay on it in the crib. I'm not going to have anything in the crib when she's born. Don't worry. But um, I just put this here because I didn't want to leave it in the floor. But that's just like a little mat for her to lay on. Like if she lays down on the ground or something like that. Um, and then over here, it's just one of those little... One of those little baby blankets with an elephant. And it says, Sweet Dreams, Kinley Rose. And then her little mobile is here and i have like these little string lights attached to the back of the crib that looks really really pretty at night when it's lit up and it's just enough light to where you know like if i come in here and peek on her i can see her just enough and it's not really bright enough to where you can see to where it'll get in her face and then of course we have our baby monitor which we haven't mounted yet but it will be mounted soon moving on to this little corner over here we just have a little elephant waste basket for trash um, we have her first little elephant chair, which David bought off Amazon. It's so much smaller than we thought, but it was too cute to, like, not keep. So, I know she'll probably only be able to fit in it for a little while, for, like, the first few weeks. <laughs> um, but it's mainly just for looks. I don't really plan on making her sit in the chair, obviously. Moving on, we have this big K for her name, obviously. I got this from, um, I believe I got it from Home Goods or TJ Maxx a while back. Um, and then we just have some little elephant decor stuff up here. I got that from my baby shower. It's just like a little silver elephant. That was actually my grandma's who have passed, who has passed away a few years ago. And that's really what kind of uh, inspired me to do elephants because I really wanted to put that in here with my daughter. And then this is just one of those sound machine things that lets off like a nightlight and music. Um, it lets off music and like a heartbeat. So... It's just kind of like a little baby sound soother, which is really, really neat. Then moving on, we just have like this little light that's hanging that we got from Lowe's a while back. I actually purchased this a long time for my makeup room, but it just didn't go in there very well. So I decided to hang it in here as like a little corner light for her room, and it ended up being perfect. So I love it. It doesn't get off, give off too much light, which is nice also. Moving on to the wall. Um, it's kind of hard to see, to read this canvas because the light, you can kind of see it when the light hits it like this, but it says dream big little one and then it has some elephant canvases and then it has some little sayings on here about little girls. It's really cute. And we have some elephant wall decals that I thought were really cute. And we just have a futon couch in here because I have the chair so I'm pretty sure I'll be taking over the chair. So like when David wants to come in here and sit with us, also he'll have somewhere to sit. Or, and I'm sure I'll be spending a lot of nights sleeping in this chair. So if he wants to lay this out into the bed and sleep in here with us, he is more than welcome, obviously. Um, over here, it's just kind of like a little elephant step stool. Obviously she's not gonna need this for a while, but I just got it for looks. Then over here, we just kind of have like this little storage bin area. The pillow we I believe we got from Home Goods or Bye Bye Baby. The middle elephant was a gift from my mother-in-law for my baby shower. This was a gift from my mom. You put a picture in there like every month um, of the little baby so you can see how much she grows. And then in the middle, I believe, is when you put the year picture. Um, this was also part of the decorations for our baby shower, which I thought was cute. I really want to get it framed. I thought I think it would look better, but I'm in no hurry. Then down here... We have a diaper cake, which was also at our baby shower. We had a lot of diaper cakes. 
Um, this was part of the decorations at the shower as well. People just filled out a little piece of paper on the inside and stuck it in there like for advice or whatever, but nobody en ended up doing it. So it was just makes for like a cute little decoration. This is just a little mini sound machine as well. And it has a little bit more options. Like it has like rainstorm, the ocean, the heartbeat, stuff like that. So, um, a little bit more options than the other one. And this is like the cutest thing ever. My sister made this for me. Um, her little nickname is Kenny. We call her Kenny. <laughs> um, but she made this box. It's like a hair bow box. So I have a place to put all her little beautiful little hair bows. Um, and headbands. Stuff like that. Which I think is freaking cute. Because I had so many and I had nowhere to put them whatsoever. Then down here um, I just have in each bin. Like in this one I just have like some throw blankets. This is all her bath stuff. These are all like my Moby wraps and then that's just like some miscellaneous stuff. Then over here behind the door where you first come in, that's just a framed invitation. That was my baby shower invitation that my mother-in-law had framed for me. Um, and then this is just a little baby canvas board thing, which I got at Home Goods as well. Moving on to this door right here. This is actually her closet, which I'm going to go ahead and get into right now. These are just some of her clothes, the ones that I wanted to get hung up. The rest are in her dresser, obviously. Um, they go from, I have them organized from like newborn, three months, six months, all the way up to um, 12 months here. And then these are just a bunch of her sleepers. Um, she has some extra diaper bags back there in the back. Her humidifier. This little thing right here is just like one of those things that or you can stick it on your bed or whatever you want her to sit on and it's just like a big old cushiony pillow for her we have some extra diapers and stuff for her to grow into i have all the way up we are stocked on newborns ones twos and threes this little box right here i just have filled with um, all her all her bottles and stuff like that this is just some bath stuff this was another diaper cake that we got for our baby shower i have to clean this off this is not done um these are all like bathrobes and stuff like that that I have to hang up. And this is just some other gifts that we got from the baby shower that I have not put up yet. So don't mind the clutter on there. But um, these two drawers are all extra wipes. And then these two drawers are all extra like newborn diapers. So we have like these two cabinets right here full of diapers. We have diapers up there. This is slammed full of diapers. And we have all of these diapers. So she'll be set on diapers for a little while. In here... Are just some of her little blankets that I washed and then these are just some of the larger some of the larger shoes for her to grow into and then these are obviously we're already starting her Jordan collection because if you guys have seen my husband's closet you know he is a huge Jordan freak so of course he had to start her early this is just her stroller her car seat is already in my car and then on this wall are just some beautiful pictures that my niece drew for us she is 10 years old and do you guys see how awesome <laughs> like every little detail David's even wearing like a Jordan outfit I don't even know if you can see but she even put like my lip ring in the little bar that's in my ear like she pays full attention to detail it is so cute so she drew like all of these pictures for me and I had to hang them up in here somewhere because I didn't have the wall space I didn't have the wall space obviously to hang them in here but yeah, this is kind of like a little mini overview. I'm so excited with how this turned out. I love pink and gray and white. I just think it's so girly and it just goes well with the elephants and everything. So yeah, this is our little nursery. Now we're just waiting on her to make her arrival. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry if I'm really windy and breathy. I am always out of breath, <laughs> but um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!